yourself a full solid Super Bowl in your like, last week. Okay, so everybody knows the Patriots won. But the last three Super Bowls the Patriots won, they all won by a field goal. And this game, they won by four points, you know, they scored a touchdown. But before the game, football analysts were looking at both Kicker Skostowski and Hashka. Hashka had missed three field goals in the very stadium that they were going to play in, and Gostowski was being compared to Adam and Terry, and he only missed one field goal that season. So Adam and Terry had won the Patriots the last three Super Bowls by field goal. He kicked late in the last quarter, and the defense kind of stopped him from getting even close to scoring, so considered winning the game. And as you guys know, I was a kicker for four years, and I'm going to talk to you guys about the evolution of kicking. Because before, no one would actually analyze a kicker. Like These guys, maybe 40 years ago, would not be analyzed. No one would care about them. They're just a kicker. In fact, they may not even be on the team. Because before that, there was really, kickers weren't just kickers. They were actually other players that just happened to kick the football. So I'm going to talk to you guys today about the first, first style of kicking, the modern style, and how it changed football. So the first style of kicking was straightforward or toe kicking. And basically, you just kicked it with your toe. You just went straight to the ball. And these are some of the kickers that were famous for it. Tom Dempsey, who was actually born half a foot. And he ended up kicking one of the longest field goals in history at 63 yards. And then Lo the Toe Groza, who was also an offensive lineman. So toe kicking was just the modern style. It was no one really, you just went up and kicked with your toe. It was just how everybody kicked it. That's how they, everybody thought it was going to kick. And then back then, there was, when uh, you were playing football, there was a rule called the one platoon. So it means everybody had to play offense and defense and special teams. So basically, if you're on the team, you played the whole game, you played every position, almost every position. And that was taken out in 1940. So then it started leading to people being specifically for defense, specifically for offense, just for special teams. And then this is now talking about the modern style of kicking, the soccer style, which was created, which wasn't really created, but it was brought in by P. Gagalak, who was a Hungarian kicker, and he introduced the soccer style, which you use the instep part of your foot, and the approach is a little bit different. And straight on kicking, you run and you go straight up. In the modern style, you guys will see kickers take three steps back and then two to the side, and they're more at an angle. When they go in, it's more your leg whip. You like turn your hips turning instead of your foot just going straight to the ball like that. And with this, it actually really changed football because kickers are now more accurate and it's a lot people score more field goals and longer distance field goals. And here's one of the kickers, Morton Anderson, who actually leads the NFL in all time and all scoring points with 2,544. So how it really changed football. How we changed football was like I said, kickers were more accurate, kickers score a lot more, you're gonna send the kicker more often because because with, with toe kicking, if you miss just a slightly, your the ball is gonna spin out and curve, which is really bad. I I've, I've seen people do it on my football team. They try to think they can kick and everybody does toe kicking and they may get one lucky kick and then after that they miss everything because they don't know how to perfectly do it. And with soccer style, it's more accurate because you have more control of the ball with more part of your foot. So, well, how it really changed is, here's a list of all-time leading scorers. And I can see all, all of them are kickers, except for Lo Groza, George Blanda, and actually that's it. But they also play kickers, and most of their points came from kicking. And here is some of the longest field goals in, that have occurred. Um, of course, Tom Dempsey, who had half a foot, he's the only one that has used a toe style of kicking. Then we have Jason Elam from the Broncos, kicked in 1998, soccer style. So Drafts for Janikowski, if you're a Raiders fan, he's like considered one of the, the best kickers. Well, not really the best, but he has the most powerful foot. And he's from Poland. So of course, he already naturally has a soccer style. David Akers of the 49ers, who I think now plays for the Lions. And then Matt Prater, who was also a Bronco, kicked it in, so that was, that was 13. And as you can see, kicking has really changed because now you're 
actually have to focus on a kicker. People like go out and look for kickers, whether they're from Europe, and a lot of kickers have come from Europe, like the one Janikowski, and they also get kickers from soccer because it's they already know how to kick a football. You don't really have to teach them anything. Like when I show up earlier, Hotchka, Hotchka, he was actually a soccer player at a community college, and he got cut from his team and. One day, one of his friends is like, hey, come kick a football, and next thing you know, he becomes an NFL kicker within a couple years. So today I talked to you guys about the early style of kicking, the toe kicking, and then today I talked to you guys about the new modern style, the soccer style, and then I talked to you guys about how it really changed football. And, um, we really don't know if the style will ever change. Next, we never know. Um, who knows? You might see people will start recruiting guys from kickball, and next thing you know, you'll see kickballers in the NFL. Yeah.